decentralized versus centralized. That's the true battle of our time. Decentralization is often misunderstood, but in its essence, it's about the empowerment of localized economies. 15 years ago, before the creation of Bitcoin, I spent a year living and working in a kibbutz, a collective community in Israel who shares ownership of all public goods. I was amazed by the use of a local currency or point system, as they were referring to it at the time, where each transaction in the local economy of the kibbutz were recorded and accounted for, essentially a token to empower their localized economy. Although Bitcoin is a global network, the BTC coin only functions within the framework of the Bitcoin economy, following a certain set of rules, laws and code specific to that local environment, the Bitcoin protocol. Similarly, tokenomics enabled by the blockchain allows a localized economy such as a wallet ecosystem, an art platform, a game, an exchange, or another form of community to empower themselves locally in their own ecosystems by following a certain set of rules, laws, and code specific to their local environment or network. These centralized systems have the potential to become infinitely more secure, reliable, stable, democratic, and fair compared with centralized systems that will forever suffer from the vulnerability of a central point of failure. This was recently experienced by billions of people around the world when Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp all went offline. The true benefit of decentralized systems compared with centralized systems lies in its purpose to empower localized economies to set their own rules, laws, and code, and thereby taking ownership of their financial future. At Clever, we stand for decentralization.